Halito friends, I'm back. I filmed this um, right after my Insta haul um, video and I seem to have deleted my footage. So I don't know what happened to it. Figured we could just go ahead and look through this anyways, because why not? So we've got by Denise Lynn. And I did a little uh, quick Googling of her. Um, I believe she goes by her. And um, she's been around for a while. So the Sacred Forest Oracle, 52 cards to open energy portals of a higher dimension. And it's just got the box with, you know, it's our regular open box, but it does have this cool inside that says, enter a secret dimension to discover the truth of your soul. So we'll put that over there for now. And then we have our guidebook. And it's just kind of your, your average black and white uh, guidebook. It has, uh, she, obviously she's done a lot. See that she had some books out and another uh, Oracle. Yeah, so she's got some other Oracle decks, audio programs, and video. Instructive Feng Shui for creating sacred space. That's interesting. We've got our contents, messages of the cards. So we've got, you know, the 52 ways to, we can look it up and then we've got note from the author about sacred forest i don't always read these um how to use the sacred forest oracle preparing for a card reading choosing the cards energize your hand interrupting interpreting the cards i think you know like uh storing the cards discover the meaning recharge with a crystal store your cards properly um, those are things that you can, if you're interested in that kind of a thing, then go ahead and, you know, do them um, or, you know, take what you like and take what you don't. I don't want anybody to ever think that they have to, like, go by what is said in a book by any one person. Obviously, you do your practice um, basically however you feel. Guidance is good if you need it, but if it's something that you feel like you don't need to do or will also another thing that, that guidance can do or instructions is it will keep you from doing things so don't let anything keep you from doing anything heads of sacred forest card readings so daily spiritual insight one card reading three card reading we have you know just diff the different stuff about that she's got the five card spread message from spirit guides so yeah you can kind of do you know your regular oracles there's four directions there's the one year spread Entering the sacred forest in your dreams. So kind of like dream dream guides. Reading the signs in your life with your cards. That's something I'd probably look into and see what that's about. The messages of the cards. Of course, if you see something, if you saw something in there that you were um, wanted me to read out more, let me know in the comments down below and I will do that. So then, yeah, we get into our card meanings. So let's get into our cards. That there. Uh, that's the inside of the, the box. I love ferns. If you can't tell by my fabric I've got here. Yeah, so put that there. All right, so they are numbered. So we've got card number one. And I have looked through these because I did the video about it and deleted it. Um, and it's kind of this collagey look. But it's still pretty. There's, we'll get into it. And there's a couple of things that I wanted to mention. We have card number one, which is air spirit knowledge. Put those down there a little bit more. We have ancient oak spirit strength. Aspen spirit courage. Bear spirit healing. I love that bear. He's so cute. And the wintry. Snow is really pretty. I love her outfit. I would love to be able to do a braid like that. Be spirit prosperity. It almost looks like this little fairy is holding a ring. Blue fairy gratitude. See, this one to me is a little AI looking or a little collagey. That's not my super my you know my favorite. Bluebird spirit is happiness. Okay, one of the things I wondered, is that a bluebird? Because I thought bluebirds were like blue and black. Let me know if you think that's a bluebird or if it's something else. It's got the unicorn. 
Butterfly Spirit, Transformation. It looks like there's a little there's a little fairy down there too. Crystal Cave Trust. This one is interesting. It reminds me a lot of Disco Desert Goddess. Um, just the way that she looks and the crystals and the lighting. Crystal Cave is Trust. Daffodil Fairy, New Beginnings. I mean, she looks like Tinkerbell. But, like, her boobs are going to fall right out of that that top. But maybe that's okay. I don't know if she's in the forest. She, maybe she doesn't care. Dragon is power. And they have this woman person laying there. Dragonfly is spirit. Dragonfly spirit is change. The lanterns in there. That's pretty. Eagle spirit is freedom. I see there's a lot of, like... Pegasus in this um, or or unicorns in these Just like extra earth spirit is stability Elves playfulness It's cute and there's well she doesn't I wonder if she's an elf. I guess so She's got these other kind of spotted around The enchanted fern grotto Refugee, and she has this ball with a uh, pegasus or a unicorn in there, too. I guess it's probably the same one here. The pegasus, right? That's a pegasus. Fire spirit is energy. Foggy bog is patience. I love this so much. I think this is gorgeous. There's a laguna near where I live that I drive through and if you're in the early morning it can look almost exactly like this forest temple i wouldn't mind finding that if i was walking along in the forest i don't know about anybody else but i love like ruins and old houses that are you know like falling down and stuff frog spirit is renewal it's the little frog prince Guardians of the Land Protection. And I guess those are toadstools. I thought at first maybe they were strawberries, but I think they're toadstools. Hummingbird Spirit is Joy. And there's the hibiscus flower. Pretty. A lot of those growing up in Mexico. And I tried to have one here and I had it for a little while, but then it got too cold. And it died. Maple Spirit is Generosity. Meandering Path is the Flow. And I would love to go on that path with the lightning bugs. And then I would freak out if I came upon that guy. I would wonder what the heck. Is he safe? I thought I was, as a woman, that's what I always think when I see a man on a path. Is he safe? Moonlight Enchantment Magic. So we have our wolf howling at the big full moon, which is coming up soon. We'll have our full moon journaling. And if it's past full moon journaling, you can look back and find the live. I'll put, uh, well, it'll be in lives on my channel. So you can choose another full moon and uh, do the journaling with us that way. Mystic Meadow is Sanctuary. Okay, funny thing about this card is this is either, well, maybe it's perspective, but this is a really big rabbit, a very small fox and bear, or, yeah, I don't know. And it looks like it has a castle around it. I just feel like the perspective is wrong. Like, these should be smaller or maybe do something besides the bear. It doesn't matter. I'm being picky. Owl spirit for wisdom. Pegasus transcending, so... That is basically the back of the cards, too. That's a really pretty one. This looks like um, Northern California right here. Phoenix Transformation. So this one looked really kind of, I don't know, AIE, like put in a mountain, a fire, and a phoenix. And they did the AI did it. And because 
Wouldn't you typically have the phoenix coming out of the fire and not across the fire? I don't know. It's just something I picked at, but it's fine. Um, so this card, I'm really glad they used diversity. They put a black woman in here, but I don't like her dress. I feel like it's like 90s prom dress um, or, you know, homecoming or whatever. I don't know. I didn't go to those things, but... I did work in retail and that was kind of one of the things. So I'm not, I'm not a fan of that dress on her, but she is gorgeous. And I'm glad that they put some diversity in here because obviously we need it. Uh, rainbow waterfall miracles. I saw a rainbow and the moon at the same time the other day. And the rainbow was kind of like this. And then the moon, it was daytime and the moon was right here. I think it's the first time I've ever seen the rain, a rainbow and the moon at the same time. Raven spirit is truth. I love this. And you know, this, this reminds me of our good friend, Bella, for some reason. I know that she loves like ravens and just kind of her whole thing. Reflecting pool stillness. Okay. This card <laughs> Feels like somebody is cosplaying as Marilyn Monroe and doing it poorly. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I do like that she's actually has some tattoos. I don't know if you guys can see that, but she does have some tattoos. I didn't notice that on any other. Okay, I forgive it because she has tattoos. Little representation for us tattooed girls. Um, and she's looking at her reflection and she's a swan. And maybe she's just learning her cosplay and we'll do better next time. Uh, Secret Spring Success. That's really pretty, too. Spirit Guardian of Autumn. Letting Go. I like that message for uh, um, Autumn. That's a good one. Spirit Guardian of Spring. Activation. That's a good one, too. I like how they put a lot of, like, you know, this is the maypole look. Um... Although, where where do those connect? They're not connecting. Oh, maybe just onto this round thing here. Uh, I like the action in it. That's cool. There's a the swan again. There's a lot of swans in here. Spirit Guardian of Summer expansion. So we have like our, that would be like late summer with the, the apples. Um, at least here in Northern California. Uh, we get apples in like August. So that would be... Yeah, I have an apple tree in my backyard and it actually has really good apples. Spirit Guardian of Winter Retreat. So this kind of has to do with, you know, going back into your your retreat and slumber and um, not starting a bunch of new stuff and working on things that you have or resting. Um, and I would love to be out here in this cabin with a couple of my soul sisters and um, a bunch of cards and runes and hot chocolate and mac and cheese. And we could all sit around and lay on couches and just hang out. That would be really cool while well, it snowed outside. And maybe some um, internet too would be nice. <laughs> Stag spirit leadership. I feel like you could have find, found a better picture of a stag. This is just kind of an up the nostril kind of look, but maybe, I mean, it does look strong. That's cool. Standing stones, passage. Okay, so starry night acceptance. This is fine. It is a little like one note as far as color compared to a lot of them. Storm spirit, chaos. And this looks like some sort of a, maybe a Greek or Norse god up there. Um, I don't know. Is there a god named Chaos? Maybe. Thicket of Thorns, Uncertainty. That's cool. Cute. A younger girl and she's walking in, wandering. Toadstools is Growth. Which is interesting the way they put it on here like that. And like she's, 
I know. Unicorn is purity. Water spirit is manifesting dreams. Wild rose fairy. It does have wild roses, which is nice. Willow spirit, flexibility. I love willow trees. I wish I had a willow tree in my backyard, but looks like this looks like a river with the willow tree. Wise woman of the grove, Grace. This has a beautiful dress on with beads. We have this man, Wizard of the Woods. I think maybe he was the guy that was walking on the wandering path or whatever it was back then, maybe. Wolf spirit, family. That's cute. And then we have wood nymph for beauty. And, uh, you know, they're kind of typical, beautiful women. So for her, she's a little different looking, not she's more normal normal or average or whatever you want to call it like oh shall we do a quick pull we'll pull one card and then read about it and hopefully this isn't so long you guys have all left and are bored to heck i'm sorry for the shaking the the table and the tripod but this is the best light I had today, so I wanted to use it. I took a break. Okay. A little. I think I'm going to cut the cards today and see what we need. Cards, let us know what we need to hear today and when somebody is watching this, what they need to hear. All of us in our collective sisterhood which can include men and but I think it's kind of a if you are a man then you need to accept our feminine wisdom and um, participate in that in that way which we all have so the sisterhood wisdom and of community okay what do we got oh we got Pe Pegasus transcending that's kind of cool <laughs> very interesting Feels kind of, what do they call it? Apropos. Let's see where Pegasus is. That's 28. It's kind of the snack dab, smack dab in the middle of the deck. Transcending 90. Oh, look at that. It feels very meant to be as far as that. Okay. So Pegasus transcending. Grab hold of the mane. Pegasus is leaping into the sky with you on his back. You can feel the wind rush by as this winged horse climbs higher and higher, his muscles rippling beneath you. You are keenly aware of his majesty, strength, and power as you are brought closer and closer to the heavens. History is replete with myths and legends of the winged horse. The pro protector of the soul. The Pegasus represents the immortality of, of your spirit and the journey to the heavens. The appearance of this card is a sign. Get ready for a dramatic activation of your spiritual journey. A powerful transformation is at hand. Great things are possible in your life. Prepare yourself to fly high ab above adversity. The Pegasuses rise above the earthly realms offers a higher celestial perspective. Take time to meditate and, pro and profound insights about your life will be revealed. You are asked to see the situation at hand from a higher perspective. Keep away from the drama and emotional manipulation of others. Some stories describe that where his hooves strike the earth, new springs emerge. Life begins anew. In Greek mythology, Pegasus activates and befriends the nine muses who inspire creativity, liberal arts, music, science, poetry, and visual arts. Hence, Pegasus is symbolic of creativity. 
The message here is to focus on the incredibly incredible creativity, vitality, and spiritual awakening within you. The spirit of the Pegasus says, you're on a pilgrimage of the soul. It's time to transcend the wealth of Earth's burden. Fly over situations that have been pulling you down. Don't involve yourself with the drama of others. When you remember that you have come from spirits and are eternal, challenging situations will resolve. Resolve. A profound transformation is at hand. Ooh, profound. I love that. It's a good one. I think we can probably all resonate with that to some extent, right? Here's our card again. It's number 28. Pegasus Transcending. That felt powerful. Um, let me know what you think of the card. Uh, do you like the way they set it up? Do you um, think it's it could be done better or is this perfectly great? One of the things that I know is that I don't really want to judge a deck until I've used it a bit. There are some decks that I've used like twice and pulled a card and just been like, this is not for me. Uh, but I do like to work with a deck that I like the way they look. I like that message. Um, I think this is something that I could work with and we'll see how it goes. So let me know if you've heard of um, Denise Lynn, if you have this deck or if you have any other books or decks by her. Um, I'd love to hear about it. All right. Thanks. And I will see you all soon. Bye.